Oh, no. Hey, everybody, running a little late. Getting to deal with the great YouTube. They're slamming us hard. They have screwed my channel over. Both channels. I've tried talking to them. They won't talk to me. And they want to put me off for 32 days to even talk to me. So that's where we're at right now. I don't know how they can do that. It's because they don't like our content. Hey, Sheldon. Hello. Hey, Spook Tater. So, guys, if I end up, I'm not sure, but on the uh, abnormal page, if it'll even pan out. But if I end up having to switch to a new account, um, I'll let y'all know and y'all can go over there and subscribe and then maybe I can do a re-monetization. Yeah. They have totally got my channel in limbo right now. I can't do anything with it. It's totally shut down right now. Yeah. After we get off tonight, I want to talk to them on their chat. If they even speak enough English to understand me. Can you turn on your phone? Sheldon said it doesn't surprise me. It, Hand me that. Sure. Well, that isn't good. Yeah. So that's where we're at. For now. Hopefully we can get it sorted out. Hi, Amy from Pennsylvania. Hello. There's Lanita. No, Lanita is aggravating. It's it's like whenever you talk to them, it's like they don't even care. I'm trying to keep this PG-13 because I'm upset. But it's like they don't care. But what's aggravating is even though they're not letting me have my monetization, they're still playing their commercials on my videos right now, making money. Yeah, they're making money. Yeah, they're making money off of me while I'm locked out of my account and having to wait. Why they don't seem to bother other Facebook channels? I don't know. It's being hell. It's just one thing after another. So... It doesn't matter. I'm not going to quit. So if I have to, it just means another channel I'll have to create. And then yeah. y'all can come over and find me there because I've got a lot of y'all on my Facebook pages. Yeah, we're not going to give up that easily. Thank you, Lenita. That's very nice. Thank you. So one of the questions I had for y'all on the uh, live tonight is I was wondering, how many of y'all run trot lines? And what are your favorite baits to run on trot lines during the fall? I know I like to run. Uh, chicken's been working pretty good, except for the turtles. Yeah. Uh, I like uh, to use perch, cut, or live. YouTube is crazy. I just got a message that they crashed 20 minutes ago, and I've got a zero notifications today. So YouTube crashed today. Really? That's weird. Well, I don't feel sorry for him. Yeah. But uh, we're going to do some fishing, I think, Monday. We're going to set a trot line if the weather cooperates, the wind and everything. We can't go out onto the lake if the wind is heavy here because we get a lot of big waves. Yeah, that's not fun. No. Waves in a little boat. We, <laughs> drink, we drink enough on a calm day. <laughs> and let me tell you. Hershey squirts <laughs> will hit you at full force if you drink lake water. That's disgusting. So what's y'all's favorite fall fish? Is it catfish? Is it perch? Bass? Uh, spoonbill maybe? I haven't got to try spoonbill. I want to try spoonbill. I've only ever tried catfish. Right? Probably. Yeah. You never know about her. But What's that supposed We're to gonna be? have to do some perch and bass. And I want to try spoonbill. Hey, I'll try it. 
bed. She's sitting on her back porch with my sass watching little people eating pizza. <laughs> pizza sounds pizza good, mm. but that makes my sugar go. <laughs> but I use ham. Ham? I've never heard of ham. <laughs> I might have to try that. Hey, Jeremy. What up? Hello. <laughs> William Bergman. Because their demons probably manifesting because some of us mentioned praying last night and the prince of the power of air is very busy. That's true. Yeah. I mean, today when I got up, guys, I'm telling you, they was at me from the beginning. Today just wasn't a good day. And then they just turned around and just totally unmonetized me, blocked it. I can't even apply for monetization right now. I mean, there's one thing I can do to retaliate against them, and I will if they don't work with me, is I'll go onto my channel, and I will uh, take it off air for a while, which means they can't run commercials on my stuff either until they... Yeah. Because I do have it trademarked. Mm -hmm. so. I really ever caught bluegill, crappie, bass, and catfish many, many years ago when I did fish some. Spook Tater, <laughs> you got to get out and... Uh, do some nighttime fishing. Night? Yeah, we done that. Cook you some bacon out there. Big old bacon cheeseburger. Just make sure you wear gloves if you're baiting your chicken, though, because you can get pretty sick. Hmm. It's kind of like lake water, but worse. <laughs> I always said one time I had a salmonella one time. And I said all I did was shake, s, and puke. That was the most sickest I've ever been in my life. I actually prayed to die. I discovered that catfish and bass love bratwurst, hot dogs. Bratwurst. Yeah, hot dogs last year. Caught some big mm -hmm. ones. Love catfish. Yeah, yeah, will Catfish is amazing. Catfish is my favorite fish. Mm -hmm. I like to slap them. Just like I do my other meat when I cook out. Okay. <laughs> she hates it whenever I spank my meat out there. What was, it? What was it I did yesterday? I did yesterday, too. The steak. I slapped the steak. She goes, stop spanking the meat. How about y'all noodling? Any y'all ever do any noodling? I will never do that. I'd probably die doing that. Yeah. Just, you might drown. You're probably big enough to stand up with it. <laughs> I'd probably drown. The catfish would eat her little bony butt. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I'd probably die. <laughs> I mean, would you do it? Yep. You would? Yep. Why? I don't know. Just do it. Just do it. I've seen people, they get cut. Yeah. On their arms. I had some people ask me, would you rather use monofilament line or would you rather use braid? I like mono, but uh, Kaylee calls mom a cheater because she uses braid. I do. She can throw further. And she has a nicer pull. Spectator so. says he's attached to his fingers. <laughs> she says Lanita says her too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> they won't take your finger. Now Snapper might. Snapper turtle. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Do any of you guys do any nighttime fishing? That's my favorite time to fish is nighttime. Yep, William does. That's my favorite time, William. Get out there and fish at night. That's just it's relaxing. Mm. Oh, it's you yawning tonight. I'm okay. yawning tonight. I had uh, something new tonight I've never tried. We had breaded fried green beans. Those were good. It was delicious. I think I prefer those in the pan. She ate like two huge bowls of it. I did not. I barely put any on my plate. Half a pie. No, I did not. Lenita says too many critters around. It ain't bad, Lenita, if you got a good fire. Uh, yeah, they stay away when you have a fire. Yeah, just keep a fire. And if you ain't careful, you may end up something eat you. You might be the bait if you're not careful. What is wrong with you and calling me bait? They wouldn't eat you, trust me. She wears too much perfume and makeup. They'd be like, <sighs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm barely wearing makeup now. They don't like that taste. Hey, then I'm good. Should be. Any y'all run any limb lines? Good decades ago, but after years of Bigfoot channels, you don't know. Yeah, Timmy, you should get up there and 
Just get you a fire, throw your poles out, take a good camera with you. You might get a picture of one if you're lucky. Mm -hmm. I like to sight fish the creeks with carp and cat on the small mouth shut down. I've never ate carp. Uh, I love catfish though. Crawfish, crawfish lines. lines. What's a crawfish line? I never heard of that. I never heard of that one. Hey guys, I made, I made it a little, little late, late, but I'm here. Hello. About time. My two little dogs got into a fight when I brought in a ten pounder. They have, they had never seen a catfish or any fish. Yeah, I had a little dog. I miss him. He was a Shih Tzu. If I can ever find another one that I can afford, I'm going to get another one. He was my fishing buddy, hunting buddy. What was his Wookie. Wookie. His name was Wookie. And he would ride on the boat with me and everything. Whenever I'd catch a fish, he would jump down, grab it, and help pull it in. And then he'd just drop terrifying. it and leave it alone. He hated Sarah's uh, boyfriend, though. Yeah. I would shoot a dove, and he would go grab the dove and bring it to me. But he would shoot one, he'd run and grab it and eat, eat his. It. Yeah, <laughs> he'd eat his. Now you're talking, build a fire, get a camera, and watch for Bigfoot and Dogman. Yeah. Hey, Spook Tater, I'm even thinking I may need a hammock out there on that lake with that wind coming in. Yeah, Bigfoot snatch you out. That would rock you to sleep. Yeah, you kind of be like a hot dog. You'd be you all would. Up. I ain't trying to be anybody's snack. That's all you'd be. No, I'd be the toothpick. She just, they'd pick her up and just break her. Or it would run so fast with her you couldn't catch them. Probably. They'd be like rugby. They'd be running, throwing you to the next one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or pull you apart. Two of them fight over you. One grab a leg, one grab an arm. Be like, That's Mormon. Yeah. They could pull you apart just as easily as they did me. I got a gun. <laughs> you don't so... carry a gun. You got a ball bat and a knife. I'd hit it in the head as far as I She's going to be standing there with this ball bat and this knife, and this thing's going to walk in like eight foot tall and like fingernails like blades. And she's going to be like, I'm going to hit you with my ball bat now. <laughs> now. Do you watch Richard Jean, the fishing machine? Well, Nita says she's getting a lot of knocks out there. We watch him, don't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. Richard Jean. Yep. We definitely watch old Richard Jean. That guy's a crappie kitchen dude. And his wife cracks me up. I like to watch them. They have a lot of fun. Wait, together. is he the guy that I share the same shoes with? He does. Yeah, yeah. he does the funny faces. And yeah, and the head. Yeah. yeah. The she has some Ronald McDonald shoes. I call them. They're not Ronald McDonald. They're red. And I always say Ronald. they're Ronald McDonald. She hates that when I do that, and I whistle it. I'm mm -hmm. in Iowa. Iowa very few sightings that I would still see when I'm behind every tree. You know, that's funny because they do use trees. They like to hide behind trees and look through the forks of trees at you. I noticed they'll, they'll look through like look through the fork of a tree at you. Any of y'all go uh, wild mushroom hunting? That's fun. That is fun. Yeah. And they're good. Mm -hmm. I love mushrooms. I'm going to have to get my buddy, uh, my buddy Steve down there with me. We need to get Steve out there hunting some mushrooms with us. You he enjoy it. He made me a, a really nice walking stick he made and gave to me. And uh, I really like that. I'll use that during the mushroom season, going up and down those trails. Be like you carrying your little ball that. No, that just helped you not fall. There was a hunter found in Hollins, Alabama, with his arm and legs pulled off his body. Let's see. Hollins, Alabama. When did that happen? Hmm. Lanita said I would pick the wrong one. <laughs> do you have <laughs> do you have a link to that, Lanita? If you have a link to it, you can send it to my email, please. Abnormalinvestigation77 at gmail.com. I about got confused because we're on our outdoor channel. I was like, do we have one for that? We actually need an email for this channel, I guess. Yeah. Not that you should check it, but we need one. <laughs> Hey, I think them Shih Tzus are some smart dogs. I really loved him. They're just very hairy. And, and I don't get... I, I don't get... Hold on. I'll grab her. Uh, 
All right, guys. Sorry about that. We had a uh, Bigfoot come in the front door, and the werewolf went after it. <laughs> but uh, we call her a werewolf. No, uh, if you pick the wrong mushroom, that could be it could be a trip. Yeah. <laughs> But mushroom. If y'all haven't ate mushrooms, man, if you bread them things and Those eat them, delicious. it tastes like a fried steak. With ranch. They are. Mm. They are so good. I hear a dog. I hear a dog. <laughs> yeah, that's a werewolf. So when y'all fish or whatever, do y'all carry like a? Uh, bait cast pole, a, a closed face, open face. What's your favorite kind of reel to carry? Oh, yeah. Portobello mushrooms are great. Hey, I even take those and uh, dip them and fry them. Mm. Yeah, William, we didn't find a lot of mushrooms either. I think we didn't have enough rain this year. There's Tina. Where did you see that? Oh, I see her. Yeah, Tina. Yeah, I've stepped on a lot of them. Yeah. Too. A lot of people have dogs that can actually hunt them down. Yeah, that is a cute little Thank werewolf. You. Show them up, show them up close. She got a beard. She does. And I call her the werewolf. See, the werewolf right here. Show them her face. Here's the werewolf. <laughs> that she, she has a, she has a temper for sure. Yeah, she does. Oh, Sheldon would know exactly what to look for then. See, I would grab something and end up eating it and be seeing like all kinds of things. Alien. Mycology. I had clothes. My dad bought it for me. Let's right yes. What do you mean, spook tater? I'm, I'm lost. confused. I'm confused. <laughs> She's so cute. Thank you. She sticks her tongue out half the time. Your werewolf got my werewolves going for. <laughs> <laughs> she's good at like that. Yeah, she gets she's she tries to be a watchdog, but if something comes after her, she tries to outrun it. Thank it's you, cold. Lanita. I appreciate that. I'll check as soon as I get off here. Surely they haven't blocked me from my email yet. He said fiction hole. Oh yeah. Yes. I use a little bit of the bait cast. Uh, I'm getting pretty good with them. But I use the uh, open face a lot. It's probably my favorite. But I want the bait cast to be my favorite. I just don't want to uh, have to be restraining them. But I've got really good at it, ain't I? I used them all mm. year this year, and I didn't have any trouble. And I can throw them really far. It seems like I can throw those further. Mm. And Kaylee, she just keeps reeling. But we're going to get her in there, catch her some fish this year on some poles. She's definitely wild. Yep. She's fix her mind, don't you? Step on her head, pull her tail. Mm -mm. Pine needle tea, mint, honey, that's my favorite. I've heard a lot of people drinking pine needle tea. That's supposed to be pretty good. I wonder if y'all ever heard anything else out your window. Last night, mm -hmm. she had something breathing at her window. I guess you all jinxed her. Yeah. And she heard it pushing on her window, beating on the house, and had a little werewolf going crazy. And the dog outside was going crazy also. Yeah, I didn't go to bed till four this morning. And what was weird is the sheep and, the sheep and goats. They were making noises, yeah. so they were pretty upset too. I wonder what last night's moon was. You know, mm -hmm. let's see. Y'all's got me talking about Mother Channel on my outdoor channel. You all. I like the movie A River Runs Through It. What was your favorite movie? Fish. I've seen. It. That sounds familiar. Have you ever seen A River Runs Through It? Yes, it's a good movie. Well, that's what Spooktator Bob said. He wants to learn how to fly fish. Yesterday's moon, it says, was a waxing gibbous. So, see? Perfect night to eat Kaylee. It would be right on uh, par for the moon. <laughs> you guys cheesed me. Yeah, Tina. Uh, I think it might have been here last night when we was on the live because the dog got pretty upset. And uh, she started getting upset, smelling the air. She was smelling everywhere. Thank you, William. She's mad right now. She's pouting. She's, just... She's pouting. She wants to go run. She finally got over her mange. Did you ever put a camera out there and find out what it may be? We put a camera out last summer. 
And whenever we went back, it was gone. The strap was gone. The camera was gone. We even took and uh, as a we put a candy bar up in the tree where nothing else could reach it and out on a really flimsy limb where nothing could walk on it to get to it and it was gone yeah william says zebco yeah we use the old zebco 33s a lot whenever i was younger zebco 33 has caught a lot of fish they were really popular reels they were good reels yeah sheldon i'd love to look at those uh the way times are getting anymore, we probably all should know more about that. A lot more. Yeah. i seen a thing, Sheldon, today. You might know about it. I thought it was weird. There's a weed that grows, I think, under the ocean. And they say that everybody that has ever ate it, when they die, they die with a smile on their face. It makes everybody die smiling. I can't remember the name of the weed, though. Yeah, but they said every time they die from that weed, they die smiling. Weird. You're weird. Hey, look, we got 20 people tonight instead of 10. See, we've doubled since the last yeah, time. We're doing pretty good. We got 21. It's the yeah, lucky yeah. number 21. <laughs> if they have more cameras, put one in your window. You could try that. That's. But you might see something too. You go look out your window and it'll be like right there <laughs> at your window. Uh uh. There was definitely something going on outside your house. Put up a couple wildlife cams. Then I'm going to buy a hand crank for a little air raid siren. If Dogman comes around, he's going to get defeated. Defended. Defend. That's for sure. So, y'all doing some deer hunting. What is your favorite deer rifle caliber? I got y'all's question. I don't know about that. My favorite? Is a 30 out six. Hey, Dennis. We got Dennis from Massachusetts. Hello. We should have got my glasses. Oh, yeah. Be careful if you're outside at 432. That's right in the prime hunting time right there. Pine knot goater. These words are a little blurry. 270. Yeah, 270 is a good rifle. I like those two. Sheldon likes the 270. 270, I think, is a little flatter shooting than the out six. Two seventy ain't a bad rifle at all, though. Have you ever owned one? Yeah, yeah, it's a thirty out six brass, nate down to two point two seven seven. My uncles used to make fish traps using chickamar dough balls. Around here, we're not allowed to use those unless we're a commercial fisherman. Uh, we can use trot lines, limb lines, yo-yos, uh, pole, pole uh, but we cannot use nets for catfish unless mm -hmm. we're commercial fishermen here. I wish we could. And I'm sure people do. Oh, They're not sure. supposed to bury barrels either, but they bury barrels. Do you all uh, deer hunt with a pistol? And what caliber pistol do you use? I've never hunted with a pistol before. I mean, well, I went out with one, but I never got to shoot at anything with one. Pecans ought to be getting ready to fall too. Mm -hmm. I love okay. pecan. Didn't you say that we're going to make a homemade? Uh, yeah, we're going to make a homemade pecan, pecan pie. pie. We're going to go pick pecans. 22 mag. Yeah, Sheldon. Those are illegal here. <laughs> I think that's the winky face he sent. But <laughs> honestly, a 22 mag and a 22 has, probably, like, has honestly probably killed more deer than any other rifle. I grab a water. He said, just kidding. I'm parched. He's a little parched. Just take a drink like Nan does. I'd have a drink. This is my mom when she's really thirsty. She's like, oh, I'm so thirsty. I'm parched. Mm. Mm. Oh. I hit the spot. <laughs> I'm like, 
I'm like drinking half the bottle when she just. You have a lot of cons in your area. Yeah, we yeah. got a lot of nuts around here. And cones. <laughs> oh gosh. Got a 12 gauge and a Glock. I hear a lot of people talk about that uh, spook tater, 10 millimeter. Uh, you know, if you want to spook tater, you send me the money, I'll go pick one up, let you know how it does. Just joking. <laughs> I like to tease him. Yeah, he's funny. Uh, 38 special, yeah. That's not a bad round. But I don't hunt deer. Uh, got the guns from mountain lions and coyotes. Oh, yeah. I bet a mountain lion would make a really pretty fur. I've always wanted a big old bear fur and make it into like a big old blanket and sit, in front, sit in front of the fireplace, cover it up with it, and read. How big a blanket would you make? No. <laughs> make me some mittens. Oh, I know. It's okay. It's okay. You hear what? She that's what she thinks of you talking about making her out of mittens. No mittens for her. Oh, yeah. she's mad. That's made the dog mad. Yeah. Yes, I love heart. Kaylee won't eat it, but. Wait, what? Uh, he said, Do you ever eat deer heart? Yeah. I eat cow heart, though. My God. Uh, I cow... really like deer meat. You, she I like jerky. Like... She, she hasn't had it cooked right. A lot of people will run deer meat when they make it. Because they'll take it fresh, and they'll try to feed it to a yuppie. And uh, whenever they do that, the city people, they're not really used to that gamey taste. But what I do, I love that taste. I like the strong dark meat taste. But what you can do is if you take that deer, and you put it in the ice box and you put your favorite beer over it, or even milk, and let it set overnight, get your frying pan, fry a whole onion in it, in the grease. Remove the onion fry your deer in it, and it will not have a gamey taste. It'll be the best deer you ever ate. Slap it on there. What, what, what is it they say? Is good. Is good. Is good. But I like, uh, do any of y'all ever eat any uh, chorizo? I like that too. What is that? Uh, pretty much lips and a-holes. I mean, it's everything that's the waste off the animals ground up into like a sausage. And you put it in the pan. Okay. Okay. Put it with some eggs, mm -hmm. mix it up together, and then you eat it on toast is how I do it. Yep, I'm good. Mm -mm. What kind of dog is your little werewolf? She's a chorky. Half chihuahua, half yorkie. I love deer meat too, Dennis. What I like to do, Dennis, get the smoker going in the winter. And it can be like a little bit of a snow or a sleet or something, but a little bit of like winter weather coming down. Get the smoker going, put you some back straps on there, and put some of that uh, Tony Cochran seasoning on it. It ain't even going to make it to the plate, I guarantee you, because I eat it off the grill. It's so good. That's disgusting. Well, Red Dawn, maybe for the straight forward. Not me. I'm not drinking blood. No, I'm not no. drinking blood. No, no. No, yep, I draw the line there. But I will tell you a funny thing is that whenever you're deer hunting and you kill a deer and it's cold outside, the the best thing to do is to uh, gut the deer because the warm blood in their internals feels good on your hands and arms because you're cold and that's warm. If I can't look at blood, I ain't drinking it. Oh. I had a doe with two fawns hanging out at my stand last night. Yeah, that's what I do, too. I let them pass up if they got two little ones with them. In Oklahoma right now, though, the way I was reading it, we're not going to be able to kill a buck, it don't look like. Looks like they're only going to let us have doe this year. That's a little... You can, I guess, technically, you can get a buck as long as his horns, I think, are shorter than an inch. Then they count a boy, actually, as a doe in Oklahoma. Sounds like a roll now. I crawl elbow deep and deer to keep warm. Yep. That's for sure, Sheldon. Deer jerky, oh, yeah. Deer jerky is amazing. Deer, I could eat my weight in that. Well, if I could kill a deer that big. But that was, <laughs> that was I love deer jerky. And I like. Uh, That'd be a pretty good 
big deer. She probably she's probably more of a teriyaki eater. Mm -hmm. I'm more of a black pepper. I like the black pepper. Yeah. I think Rhonda hunts them with her car. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> she? <laughs> <laughs> I think she hunts everything with her car. Sarah does. I'm like, hey, oh, God, yeah, speaking of that, guys, I got a story for you. We was on our way to Chelsea the other day, and she might need to get her eyes checked, but on our way, there's this big old brown thing dead on the side of the road. I didn't see it. All and I I'm was talking good. huge. I'm like, in my mind, I didn't say it, but I'm like, oh, somebody hit a cow, because there's like skid marks or this big, fat, bloated cow. They were on our way back from Chelsea. And Kay, and Kay, Kaylee's like, oh, somebody hit a cow. I thought that was a deer. I'm I like, if seen, that was a deer, that's a record monster deer. I just deer seen right the there. top of it when we passed it the first time. <laughs> it might be a two point, but look at the length on them. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why the city folk come out and shoot all the cows during deer season. I know what a deer and cow are. Roman said black pepper jerky on there. Man, I, I could. I could eat my weight in that. And you know what's fun, though? Is whenever you do kill your deer and you make the jerky out of it, is whenever you go deer hunting and you get to sit there and eat the jerky while you're waiting to kill his brother or whatever you kill. You're just sitting there waiting. Why are you so morbid? I'm not. That's what you do. It's morbid. You don't Look, have to say it like what, that. What did you eat for supper tonight? Fish sticks. Something died. Well, yeah. A fish, so you could eat it. Yeah, but I'm not going to go out into the ocean it's and just the, eat fish sticks. It's the circle of nature. Well, done. And we're on the top. I know. So eat them all. But I'm just saying, I'm not going to go in the ocean and go, huh, I'm eating their cousin, Bob. Hopefully I get you. Oh, Trevor. I don't name them. That's weird. I don't name them. I was being sarcastic. Sheldon and Dawn's laughing. You're so retarded. Now, if you was like Jeffrey Dahmer, yeah, then you might be naming your food. Your baloney really might have a first name. Steven. What's your favorite thing to eat? Oh, finger food. <laughs> Dude, he gave that to his neighbors, too. I'm at, ugh. You said that's what this channel's about, right? Yep. This channel, we're going to have to name it to Teach and Kaylee Animals Flashcards. I know my animals. Deer. Cow. I seen the top. It was bloated. And all I seen was the top of it when we went by it. You could be a cop in England. A pack of foxes killed him. <laughs> a pack of badgers. <laughs> pack of badgers. I love Connie sauce, but I, I mean, mm. I can eat a lot of it, but. You can't match Hunter. It's good. Hunter, I don't know where he puts it. I eat mine with Doritos. Hunter, I think, drinks it. Probably. He, the other night, Nam bought a brand new one. He ate the whole thing. Mom's like, where's it at? What? We didn't have no chips. You see what he ate it with? No? Make you sick. What? Bread. Uh. He dipped white bread and ate the whole thing with it. Yeah. yeah. Flash cards with live animals and then food from animal on plate. Yeah. <laughs> Who eats Connie sauce with bread? They're making fun of it. <laughs> I know my animals. I just barely caught a glimpse of it. I didn't. He didn't tell me what it hey, was. Hey, she was happy the other day though. I went to Adair and got me a tag for my vehicle. And on our way back, she's like, oh, look over there. There's those camels. What? Did you see the camels? I wasn't with you. I thought you was. Yeah. Really, you were? He's losing his mind. Maybe it was mom. Yeah, it was mom. We, yeah. saw, we saw camels. There's a guy raising I camels. I know. And how do you know? There. I've been past there. She doesn't know. Yes, I do. He had like she was probably two with four me. camels. I was not with you. They, they are a walking stomach spectator. I get, sometimes I'll come in here and I'll be like laying on the couch, wake up, you know, and be like, oh, that little bit of leftovers we had, I think I'll have that. And then you come up here and the plate's sitting there with like crumbs in it. 
It's like or he's the one that eats all well, of they've it. already finished it. I don't eat leftovers. There's only certain kinds I'll eat, and then he'll eat it whenever <laughs> I want camels them. Camels in Oklahoma. Holy yeah, cow. we actually do have camels in Oklahoma. They're not wild, but no. there's a lot of people getting them for some reason. I'm not sure. I guess they're retiring and getting over the hump. That's what my doctor said. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to make some stink bait. Yeah, we'll throw you right in. Hey, how many of y'all cover your scent whenever y'all go deer hunting? And what do you use? I use water and vanilla extract. Oh, I would puke. But they come right to you. I would puke. Why? I can't stand the smell of vanilla. What, what, I would not. I don't hunt, but I would not spray that on me. Listen to this, guys. I can't even get her to shoot a deer this year. I'm like, I'll buy you a brand new crossbow if you'll shoot a deer. I don't want a crossbow. No, she says, I wouldn't want to kill one of those. But I'm sure going to eat their jerky. Yeah. I don't want to kill it unless I have to. But. I'm like, I'll buy you a deer rifle if you go deer hunting. No. Then the other day, I'm like, hey, it's almost squirrel season. She's like, no. I think Uncle Sai said it best. Yuppie. Cedar branch. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people using cedar branch too. That's supposed to work really good. Hey, I'm proud of where I came from. One thing about it, the world ever runs out of food, it should be extinct. <laughs> No. Because I'm the type. If I, I get, would kill something if I had to. I kill it practice and I'm ready. Like if I had to, your little dog. No. Tater, no. Taters and no. dumplings. I, I, no. I'm a survivor. No. Yep. You'd be next then. I'd make a fast forward. No. You'd be next then. Why? You'd already be gone. Mm -hmm. I'd break your legs. The way you'd be crawling around. Y'all hear this? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? I wouldn't. You'd be like bones and taters. There wouldn't even be enough for you. Don't even. No. No. Bones are disgusting. I'd be like a big old steak. No, you'd eat, be a big old. Eat on me for a month. Pig on the table. Eat on me for a month. Put an apple in your mouth. I eat the apple. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure do this chat tonight. Really enjoying it. Brought back great memories. And what's sad is she's really not acting, William. That's really the way she is. I hear so many things about Sid that I don't know what's the best. Some guys didn't shower for a week. Some got alternative soap. Woo! But they had the itch. Mm. Man, not showering for a week. Terrible. Can you imagine? Something died out here. Now it's just me wearing my lucky underwear. I bet whenever they get done deer hunting, like for the week or whatever, because you know they wear the same underwear for a week. They ain't taking them off, putting them back on. Probably sounds like Velcro when they take them off at the end of deer season. Mm. Hey, Terrell, dogs are trying to roll on your laundry. They'd have to scrub. It'd be bad. Mm. A deer sure wouldn't want to come around that. Mm -mm. I hang my clothes outside or bag them in pine. They also have a thing called a dirt bag you can throw in there, See? too. Tina, I can't shoot things either. All you got to do, Tina, is just practice on your breathing, and you'll get where you can hit them. What? She says she can't hit them. She can't shoot things. She just needs more target practice. Right? <laughs> See? I love jerky, but couldn't kill one unless I had to prevent starving. Exactly. Well, I, I starve a lot, guys, so... I, I get hungry. <laughs> kind of like that uh, Walking Dead. I'm starving. He goes, and by starving, you yeah. mean not really. Somebody said, oh my God, that is disgusting. I wonder what you're talking about. Probably not. Sure. Yeah, that's bad. I mean, I can see three or four days. Not really. <laughs> Wouldn't have no trouble finding your buddy. Mm hmm. 
Hmm. I definitely want to be upwind of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love rabbit. Rabbit's good. Rabbit's probably one of my favorite things to eat. Uh, I think rabbit and, and squirrel just taste like chicken to me. No, squirrel don't even stand a chance against a rabbit. I mean, oh, rabbit's better than squirrel. By far. Yeah. Would you shoot a rabbit this year? No. You're not going to hunt rabbits this year. Those are cute and cuddly. Not going to shoot. You go catch one and try no. to cuddle it. I'm saying they're cute and cuddly, not they like I would bite grab you. it. I'm not going to go grab a bunny. Some of them got red eyes. They look. But I'm, I know. Those are albino. She has to eat one this year, guys. Just stay in an outdoor channel. She'll eat it. I get her killing them for long. No, you won't. I'll eat it. They'll right. chase your dog down and bite her. Then I'd shoot it. See? I like to take rabbit, fry it like chicken, make mashed potatoes, gravy, and then have some onions with it. God, you always eat onions with everything. Love onions. Onions is what makes you tough. Makes you sweat out. And all have the nasty time. breath, too. Well, I don't have to worry about that because I ain't running around kissing anybody. See, that's the benefit of being single. I can eat all the onions I want. I'm like the Grinch. I yeah, but it. when you talk to people, that's like... Well, that's okay. I'm not trying to impress them. <laughs> They're like, oh, God, your breast smells like onions. Okay, well, well, yeah, but I'm not, you know, I'm not going to try to kiss you. Mm. <laughs> Hunter's the same way, though. Onions have layers. Hunter can eat onions like, God, like fruit. I know. He I've loves. Him. He's, like, he's like me. He loves onions. I like onion rings. Bet you do. <gasps> There's Mountain Patriot Homestead. I thought Bigfoot might have got her up around the mountains stomping around. Bigfoot keeps her busy. I'm going to raid her gardens. If everyone would eat onions and garlic, then no one would smell it on your breath. Exactly. See, that's what I'm thinking, Spook Tater. She just needs to start eating it, and she won't smell it. Yeah, I'm good. Sarah got me hating garlic. Or you could mm -hmm. cook with cinnamon. <laughs> on your porch. <laughs> <laughs> They're sharing back. Oh, Sharon, I wouldn't be surprised if YouTube didn't kick you tonight the way they're being. I don't know what's up with them. I think. Oh, like See, I told you. Huh? William. Yeah, William. Um, I think it does taste a little bit like fried chicken, but compared to a rabbit to me, there's just no comparison. I think a rabbit yeah, is just like better. tenfold better. Uh, something else I was going to say. It was important because I was going to say it. Uh, let's say, uh, Everything they say is important. I know. Mm. Oh, uh, ducks is good too. I've never had duck. Duck is kind of a strong meat. It's a dark meat. I want to try. Uh, what did you say? Black bear or something like that? It's oh, bear. Like, yeah. Yeah, they say if you kill bear, like, like what is it in the? In the fall, yeah, they taste like uh, teriyaki because yeah. of the berries. And if you kill them later on, then they taste more like meat. They don't have the berry taste. Mm. They're more of a game taste. I'd eat them either way. It don't matter to me. I mean, if I want it to taste like something sweet, I'll just rub grape jelly on it when I eat it. That's disgusting. So I put in my spaghetti. Yeah, and I... There are 10 to 15 deer in my yard every night. Some have names. I would cry if I shot one. See? But my wife wouldn't let me shoot any squirrels or rabbits. She feeds them bird seed and she feeds them. Well, see, we have a, a rule around here. We do? On our rabbits and squirrels and stuff. We don't shoot none of the stuff that's here oh, on, no. the, yeah. on, the, on the farm. Uh, we consider those pets because we don't feel like it's fair because we feed them and they eat the feed and they're not afraid of us. So it's kind of, it's, there's no sport in walking out there just, yeah. you know, rabbit comes running up to you. Hey, you going to give me some corn? Boom. You know? Yeah, I mean, we, we don't do that. Now, no. we, when we hunt, we go to the bottoms where they're afraid of us. It's a fair fight or fair, fair game. Good. And we do it that way. We don't just kill them. Ooh, yeah, Mount Patriots got her some mm -hmm. scubby ducks. I love them things. <laughs> What's that about? 
Oh, I've got seven with the uh, I breed snake. Oh no, no snakes. <laughs> no snake. Mm-hmm. Look, I breed snakes. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't eat a snake if I. That's the one thing I could not eat it. Thing. I couldn't eat a spider or snake. I would kind of like mm-hmm. to eat a turtle. No, you said that you're not supposed to. Well, I don't know. Can you eat a turtle, guys? I googled it, and Google said that they're edible, but not recommended to eat because they're not considered a safe meat. Oh, I gotta get a drink. I don't want to be rude. Don't forget to put your pinky up. <laughs> but, uh, I wouldn't mind trying turtle. Maybe you can leave out it's a vodka. No, I think it's trying to be easy to find. Speaking of that, guys, we owe you guys a uh, 1,000 sub toast. I just haven't bought any cheap wine yet for the 1,000. <laughs> we got an expensive bottle up there. Mm-hmm. That's a $70 bottle of wine. That, yeah. That's expensive to us. But, yeah. uh, I am going to get some guys, and uh, we will do a toast on this channel. Because you guys are awesome, man. We have grown so fast on this channel. Me and Kaylee was in there the other night, and it was like 1,060. And then it was 1,070. Just oh we're my. like, yeah, it was growing fast. You guys are awesome. And we have a lot of fun visiting with you guys. It's kind of like sitting and visiting with family. Yeah. It's not like we're sitting here, you know, trying to be like, as professional I, I try to be more professional on my other channel because i take it more seriously it's kind of like the work i used to do mm-hmm. i'm investigating and it, it involves people's lives and losing lives and i try to be i guess respectful you know more respectful on that channel we are goofy on that channel but i try not to be as goofy yeah. you know but on this one you know yeah on this one we uh we love to just sit back we let loose yeah visit bit. with you guys uh one of these days, if it all works out, I would love to have as many of y'all to show up someday, a big cookout or something. Everybody to sit around a huge fire pit. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I just feel comfortable. Y'all, I think we have the best group on the internet. Because I go to other sites, and I watch, and I listen. And it's like drama. It's fight, mm-hmm. fight, 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 fight. And I mean, people are running each other down bad. And I'm like, where are your admins at? Why are they not taking care of this? Because our admin right now, I'm not going to give names out on our admins, but we have the best admins there is. Look how smooth we roll. Yeah. And, and there's a lot of work being done behind the scenes. They're kicking people. They're getting rid of people every night. They're getting rid of posts. So a big shout out to our admins. You guys rock. Thank you. Uh, Spook Tater. You know, Spook Tater, when I was <clears throat> young, all the way up until now, it has always been a dream of mine to have a houseboat. I would love to live on a houseboat. I mean, I still want my land and my animals and stuff, but to have the houseboat for a weekend or a week or whatever, if you didn't want to be around nobody, you just drive that thing out to a secluded, you know, a secluded cove where people's not, and you just go there. And if you want to answer your phone, you answer it. But it ain't like they can find you and drive to your house, you, just, you know? You can just relax. Yeah, you're just like chillaxed out there <laughs> chillax but that's always been a dream of mine someday i want to get a if i ever get one spook tater you come down and you can stay the weekend with us and fish you're but one thing he might be right it might take a barge to float me <clears throat> thank you sir she's a single lover mm. of work yeah yeah, you got your hands full, Sarah. Uh, but the kids are a blessing to have them around, so you're blessed to have them. Mm-hmm. And we're blessed to have you here with us. Yeah. We, we enjoy having you with us. Every time I see your, your picture on your profile, it looks like an eye. Is it an eyeball? I don't know. I can't tell. It, it looks like an eye. It looks like a fish eye to me, anyway. Uh, in Florida, I fish for a soft-shell turtle on the river. Catch cook me. I've seen people just eat those. You see that? <laughs> like... What she said, they just like boil them and just like 
Oh, around no. it and then spit out the bone. Ugh. I'm like, mm -hmm. thank you, William. Uh, I want to, I would like to stay in Florida. Oh, Florida's fine. And I would like to rent a room that goes with the pier. And I would like to do some uh, ocean fishing off that pier and stay in the room. I stayed on a, I stayed in a hotel on the beach. As long as I didn't get pulled out by the riptide. That sucks. Sheldon says turtles are nasty. I wonder what it tastes like. I heard it's got seven different kinds of meat. It's a close-up pick of my own eye. You're great. Oh, that's her eye. Is that your eye? Wow. Why is it red? Are you a red-eyed Bigfoot? <laughs> Don't be shy. The houseboat is great. My son's caught Graham on a toilet left at love, which was a river. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely she said, Father life. Mike, sorry. Yeah, uh, you're a great. And then she finished it. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, a lot of new sites are gone. There was a lot of things happened today. Uh, a lot of people lost some of their accounts today. I'm not sure what's going on. I live in Cape Coral for eight years. The seafood is always fresh. Mm. Kaylee loves crabs. Seafood is amazing. <laughs> I got a recipe for you and I'll send it this weekend if I can remember. Okay, Mountain Patriot. I try that. Uh, we're going to have some recipes too for Halloween. We're going to be cooking in our video. I'll probably do most of the cooking, but that's how it goes around here. But uh, I think she's thinking about making a few things. Maybe. Uh, like pouring some Skittles out of a box, some Halloween Skittles or something. Actually, I'm allergic to Skittles. Okay, then I'll give you a handful of Skittles. I'd eat them, but I'd make my stomach a little upset. <laughs> Go drink some river water. That'll fix it. Then I could poop a rainbow. Mm, great. I saw that new video. I had no idea the U.S. had spiders that big that look like a thing chasing going at Adams. Hey, uh, Spooktator, we saw a uh, uh, tarantula yesterday. We took pictures of it. Yeah, that thing was huge. It was big. The picture didn't do... Uh, Justice. No. Yeah, William, a houseboat would be great. Sweet tart watermelon ropes. Ooh, those are I've never tried those. Those are delicious. You like them? Yeah, they're good. Sure, guys <laughs> laugh at the rainbow. <laughs> there wouldn't be a pot of gold at the end of that one for sure. So, what do you all think in this? I know I try not to talk about the other channel on this channel, but it kind of goes with both channels. <sighs> We're thinking about getting some merch. Are any of y'all interested in any merch if we do that? And if we do, do you want t-shirts, hats, keychains, hoodies? What do you want us to look at getting for either channel? I want to do it for both, but uh, we're kind of... Uh, had a lot of people asking us, and uh, we've checked around a few places. Well, Sheldon just said absolutely. And uh, we're thinking about doing the merch. How many emails? We got quite a few emails. Yeah, we got a lot of emails about that. Yeah, they're wanting us to do merch. Just took out about 10 years, and they grilled shark and octopus. Love the shark. The octopus was awful. We wanted to try it. I want to try shark and uh, calamari. calamari. Has anybody tried calamari? Cats and hoodies. It's full. Yeah, it's a great idea. I thought about it. This hat right here was sent to me by my buddy Steve. Uh, he's a great patriot, mm -hmm. great man. He's a uh, like my best friend. He's a good Christian. Yeah, he's like my best friend. T-shirts, hats. T-shirts and hats. Looks like. Get y'all some muscle shirts. Well, you couldn't wear one. You gotta have muscles. <laughs> I want to get her a skeleton shirt. Yeti and Dogman picks on March. Yeti and Dogman picks on March. You know what I want, guys? I drink coffee. I do, too. Coffee hot. Now, she drinks cold coffee. I don't count that as coffee. That is coffee. That's yuppie coffee. That what I drink is real coffee, hot coffee. And I'm thinking about a coffee mug with the abnormal investigations on it with the boots on the ground. You can still get cold coffee in a mug. Yours is like hot or cold chocolate milk flavor. No, it's not because you can buy chocolate milk. No. Yes, you, yes, you can. 
Starbucks. Mine? No. What I buy is at Starbucks. Folgers. Starbucks is good, but I don't buy the Kaylee, Harry, and the Hendersons. Exactly. That's yeah, I heard legs were hairy yesterday. I don't no, know if you saw our worse. video. I tried to film them. No, her hair was just glistening in the sun. Cassie no. says yes. Coffee mug. Yeah. Yeah, got abnormal. That'd be a good thing. I'm going to have to make some popcorn for some strangers. <laughs> hey, I like to make popcorn. I do. Put Doritos in it and pour M&M's in it and watch movies. You ever done that? Not Doritos. But I've done the M&M's and Doritos popcorn. and M&M's. Which, Doritos... See? Have, Doritos... Yeah, Sarah, tell them to stop. Jeez. Doritos have changed their flavor, I think, on their cheese, because I don't like Doritos as well as I used to. I'm just picky. And they kind of upset my stomach. It tastes like that imitation powder cheese now. You're an imitation of powder cheese. So, I may have to go Funyuns. I love Funyuns. Hard on my gums, but I like Funyuns. All these days, I'll be able to take my teeth out you. I don't have to worry about it. Take my teeth out and bite your arm and put them back mm, in. That's disgusting. I just made popcorn. Hey, we love popcorn around here. It'll keep you. You sure it's hot mugs? Y'all would do awesome. Kaylee, you're catching it from every angle. Oh, that's great, though. For the love, right? Oh, I love her, sir. I love her to death. Sometimes. Snickers, oh yeah, Snickers and Doritos. Ooh, hey, yes. how about this, guys? One of my all-time favorites. Before they change their flavor, Doritos, honey buns, and chocolate milk in the morning. No, mine freaking donut holes and chocolate milk in the morning with a strawberry sprinkled donut. Sharon, my dad mm. ate popcorn every night. That was uh, all the time he would uh, eat popcorn. Ew. But yeah, uh, that's why. Man used to do. Oh yeah, pour peanuts in your soda. I've done that, Spook Tater. That's good. Uh, what was I saying before that? Probably wasn't important. I got lost. No, it was important. It was good. Oh, uh, honey buns, Doritos, and chocolate milk. Me and my dad used to do that when we go fishing. That is really good. But they have changed the flavor. I'm telling you, they honey have, buns aren't the same either. No, but they've changed the flavor of Doritos. If you ate them a long time ago and you eat them now, they taste way different. I just eat them. Calamari is good, but has a rubbery texture. I want to try that, Tina. I want to try it, too. I actually invited Tina down to go uh, spook hunting with us on a night uh, incursion so she could get an encounter. And she denied our... our <laughs> she said she don't want to. I wouldn't either. I tried to get her to. I was teasing with her. I invited her down. She's like, I know. I know it shows. Mad Love always from Chicago. Please share your videos. Thank you. I've never tried buttermilk and dill pickles. Never tried that, but I would. We need to make fried pickles. Hey, oh. get, guys. Donut holes and chocolate milk. Mm. So good. I think we're going to have that. Well, maybe. Maybe. Fried honey buns and butter. They get very fat, though. I love Bear Claws, too. But, uh, but <laughs> I've, I've seen, seen them, them in years. years. I've, I've not seen, seen chocolate since the 80s. Or chocolate. Chocolate? Chocola? Chocola? I don't know. It's Chocola. Chocola. Now, hey, Spook Tater, we got bear claws around here at all of our donut shops. Huge bear claws. But I don't really like them. I go for the donut holes, mm -hmm. the uh, glazed donuts. I like the banana field. Uh, I like the sprinkles are okay. Mm -hmm. I like the, uh, the the bread ones are okay. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I really don't care for the maple bars. They're probably my least favorites. I just want donut holes, a strawberry, or chocolate sprinkled donut with a gallon of chocolate milk. Yeah, Tina, popcorn and M&M's. But I like to throw some Doritos or something in you there. You know what I missed that they took away? What's that? The, the twisty Cheeto puffs. <laughs> Mountain Patriot. <laughs> oh, I got to be good on that one. Mm. Yeah, but the stores don't. You like bologna chips? No. No. I do. I hate cake donut holes. Those are gross. I love them things. No. Hey, Mountain Patriot, I'll tell you something else I do. You should try it. Get you your favorite uh, breakfast sausage and uh, 
cut it down the middle and take it out the whole round thing, put it in aluminum foil, pour your favorite barbecue over it, wrap it up, and throw it on the cooker. Oh, my God, that's good. We have Krispy Kreme here. Sarah today. ate like five pounds of it one night. I made it. We made a bunch of that. It, was, it is. It's good. There is a Krispy Kreme here, right? Yeah, uh, Tulsa. Yeah. G-Town. Tulsa. Tulsa. About, Tulsa is about 50 miles from here. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Mount Patriot Homestead, she's laughing. Mm -hmm. Sheldon and Dawn said, well, popcorn and nacho cheese and jalapenos. Yep. I can't eat jalapenos. You know, tell them about them jalapenos I bought last month, though. You tell them. I didn't want them. They weren't even hot at all. Yes, they were. The burn my mouth. Yuppie. No, it <laughs> Yeah, uh, what's that other stuff I bought? Uh, oh, it's a weird name. It's Ken, you know. I found it and bought it. Uh, I bought it in Chelsea. Put it on the hot dogs. What was that called? I don't know. I'll think of it in a little put bit. Put everything on hot dogs. I can't think. I'll barbecue anything. Yo, oh, I love barbecue. Mm. Uh, what was it? I can't remember. Hello, oh, I got in late, guys, and everyone's stoned. <laughs> Popcorn now with Cajun seasoning on it. Ooh, I love Cajun seasoning. Cheddar bratwurst? Yeah. Yes. And I love cheddar mm -hmm. bratwurst with jalapenos, too. I got a whole pack of them. I'm, try I'm trying to think of that name of that stuff I bought. Uh, chow Chow. No, not Chow Chow. Uh -huh. Is it Chow Chow? Yeah. Something like that. That was really good. I bet Mountain Patriot probably makes Chow Chow. And it'd be better than what we bought if she makes it because it'd be like fresh. Alligator? Yep. I love alligator. Never tried it. I want to try it though. Alligator's great. You know, it really does taste like chicken to me, kind of. But like a fish taste with it, like a chicken and fish. Mmm. Sounds appetizing. On how much you like fish? Cheddar broth on the grill with some chili. Oh yeah. Ah uh, no, no to the chili. Just Kaylee, <sighs> remind me of my mom. She cannot stand blood in almost face. I do. Like. She just turns white and drops like a fish. I can't handle it. She drops it like it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle it. It's like I can't. It. I can't yeah, stop Mountain it. Mountain Patriot says she has. You know what I worry about Mountain Patriot? I want a can too because I feel like there's some bad things probably close to happening coming up. It's going to happen. I am a, I prep. Uh, we are preppers also. Mm -hmm. I don't talk a lot about that, but we are preppers. And uh, I worry about botulism because I hear that if you get that, you can't cure it and you get it from can and stuff. And man, I'd hate to get botulism. Mountain Patriot, I love frog legs. Yeah, those are amazing. Kaylee just sticks them in her mouth and strips the bone. <laughs> no, I don't. She loves them things. I don't do that. You she had barbecue that. all over her face yesterday. No, I whenever didn't. Whenever I took a picture of no. her. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was like, hey, can I get another one of them ribs? She's like, I <laughs> don't No. <laughs> we still have some. She about ate all of my Hawaiian rolls. No. Somebody, I only ate three, and somebody ate all of them. So Hunter and Logan. To, yeah, I, ate, I threw away the package. They got up and ate them last night. So I told you, the, the leftovers are gone. Yeah, I'm going to go. Mountain Patriot, I like to take the frog legs and uh, go to Walmart and get their Frank's Red Hot, put them in that, and then flour them and deep fry them. They are Why so good. Why everything hot? It ain't hot. Unless you're yuppie. Then it's hot. Get you a wild edible field guide. You won't regret it. Uh, hold on, I'll show you something. Let me show you something. How about this? Y'all heard of this? The Lost Ways? It's a good book. I recommend. It. I recommend it. Read it sometime. I'm a rebel canner, been canning for half a century and hadn't killed anyone yet. <laughs> so that's good. So how do you keep from getting botulism? What is the trick? Because I do worry about that. Look here, guys. I 
peach. We got some big old peaches. I love peaches. Kaylee don't like them. I said do. Oh, do you? Yeah. I, didn't think I you don't did. like pears. No, you told me not to eat the skin. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that you could eat the skin. Yeah, that's the best part of it. Well, I didn't know. she probably never seen a peach on a tree before. Yes, I have. <laughs> Florida is the only state that has peacock bass bucket list. I've heard of that. Got that book, Get Info. Something out I love peaches, too. They're right, but I don't like the fuzzy on the skin. Right? I love the fuzzy. I eat it all, don't I? Mm -hmm. I chomp it. He came in my room last night and just sat at my door and just like stared at me and just started eating it. And I was like, I just wanted to visit. I'm like, okay. I was lonely. I just wanted to visit to talk. Mm -hmm. And you know what she says? <laughs> Hold on. I got to finish, finish this game right here. Fortnite's coming up with this new. Uh, I don't say that. A, or it's uh what's that other game where you play house? Sims. Sims. Oh uh, wait. I just my that's a my, relaxing wait, game. Wait. My husband's unhappy. He lost his job today and he had to stay home with the kids, so he's wanting to kill himself. So I have to sit there and listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't even talk. They walk around their life. No, they say what? their own language like Oh, they have their own language. Like it's like it's like, it's like, the, it's like watching the peanuts. <laughs> Not picture. Don't can rotten stuff. I'll have to teach you how to can. I, I can meat some dairy and everything. Hey Mountain Patriot on your channel. Which she has an awesome channel, guys. You should go check it out. I uh subscribe. Maybe you could do like some canning lessons on your channel. That would help a lot of preppers out and stuff because I don't have any idea how to do it. I've bought a few things to can with because I wanted to learn. But whenever people mention botulism, that scares me because that, I mean, from what I hear, if you get that, yeah. you die. Yeah. Kind of, kind of like, you know, rabies or amoeba. Mm -hmm. You're done. You're done. You could stick a fork in me. It's over. <laughs> you know? <laughs> He said that we went in slow motion. Or she said we went in slow motion. That's just how we are tonight, guys. We're sluggish. Been a long day. Long, long day. How many of you guys... Uh, do a lot of y'all grow like your own stuff or anything like that? I think we grow, uh, let's see, in our garden we do tomatoes, corn, green beans, peas, uh, watermelons. You eat potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. Carrots. Carrots, <coughs> radishes, and uh, what's that other thing? Uh, We've done watermelon before. Pumpkins for the kids. The pumpkins are always <coughs> done about Halloween. So we, we like to grow pumpkins for the kids and we let them go out in the pumpkin patch and pick their pumpkin for Halloween. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's better now. Pine Otter says, I have a huge garden. Love gardens, man. I love gardens and orchards and all that. God bless you and good night. Okay. You have a good night as well. Yeah, Sheldon, it was good having you with us, man. Or hope you're, that's the guy and not Dawn. But uh, good to have you. We'll have you next time too. Maybe you'll have. Do you all need us to start these earlier? You think? Yeah. It, would, would it be easier for you guys if we did these around seven, five, six? What What would be a better time? I mean, it's nine thirteen p.m. People have work. Oh, yeah, because yeah, I mean, we're pretty much free anytime. I mean, I'm sure we're going to have company at that time anyway because we put it out there, but. I mean, we're free. <laughs> we're free pretty much at any time. We're free. We're free. <laughs> we got to eat. <laughs> <laughs> that's what avocado says. I identify as skinny. Yeah, that's what I identify as. I identify as skinny. He just has water weight. It's all water weight. I love fresh vegetables, but I'm like you, Mike. I don't can. I really should. I tell you, man, the way times are getting right now with the elections coming up and all that, uh, I don't get into politics. I mean, 
either way, it don't matter who you are, just as a human being right now, you should really probably be prepping and putting mm -hmm. back stuff. Uh, you it's getting scary. Yeah, you don't want your kids hungry or without things. And, you know, just the simple things that we need. We are going to watch on the big screen. Phone is dying, so going to say goodnight. Buddy. Hey, Sharon. Good to have you. Good uh, to have you. Thank you for watching. Yep. Thanks for watching and come and join us. We'll have another one before Halloween. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have one more before Halloween, and then of course we'll do our Halloween video and everything. But we're going to do a Halloween video for this channel and the other channel, which we're going to have a busy day of filming. But we are going to mm -hmm. do that for you guys. Teresa says she says that she prefers later evening than early. Later evening. So eight o'clock. Good. TP. What? <laughs> oh, you're so weird. You're weird. You're weird. You're the weirdest. <laughs> Probably. We're, we're popular by our times, guys, because whatever we set our times at, you guarantee people's going to follow us. That's just how it works. We're used to it. It's like the paparazzi around here. It's like, exactly. hey, you're not going to see nobody for five days, mm -hmm. but you put a time out there, and you're going to be swamped. Yeah. Yes, 8 o'clock is fine. It's fine. Good. Okay. Cash is normal. You call me Tor. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just saying first initial laugh. That way you yeah. were laughing? <laughs> See, Kaylee was laughing about it. I wasn't. No, I wasn't. She was being a jerk. No. <laughs> no. You know, another thing I was thinking about, too. Uh, I want to go spear fishing. What is wrong with you wanting to stick fish with poles? I'd love to go spear fishing. She won't even gig a frog. That's mean. But she'll shoot them. Yeah, I yeah, that's more human. She, she shot frogs this spring, she's popping them. She's a good shot. She's popping them. Then I'm like, well, she get frog gigs and go gig them. She's like, oh, that's cruel because they try to push themselves off of it. Yeah, and they're like squeaking or whatever they do. Well, you kill them when you that, get them. No, you. <laughs> no. That's like. Look, if you're hunting, penetrating, they're meant to die. Not that way. You just do like, no, not, yeah, <laughs> no, 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 see, <laughs> that's messed up, just shoot them. I would love to have a big old pile of frog legs, ever been noodling, uh, yeah, I've tried it, it's scary, I'm afraid of what I'm going to grab, I don't like sticking my hand in places I can't see, because you don't ever know what's waiting on you under there. This, she won't even try it. No, I die. I want to see Mike hook up when want to fish in the ocean. It's a, ooh, swordfish. Is oh, great. Heck yeah, spook tater. I'd love to do some ocean fishing. Swordfish is amazing. <laughs> I'm a poet and didn't know it. <laughs> oh, God. <it's> a... ah. <laughs> Yesterday, my nose you? was running faster than I could eat it. Today, it's itching. Ugh. Spook. Teresa says, Potato Bob, that would be awesome. I planted a large garden where it got nothing but tomatoes and bell peppers, too much rain. Here this year and straight, it's your heart heat way. Man, William, I wish we could have got some rain. We are hurting so bad right now. Our lake is so dry right now. It is. Sometimes I get so thirsty. My belly thinks my throat got cut. <laughs> my belly button's rubbing the blister on my back, but I'm Ew! But we should do it. Belly buttons are disgusting. I get a lot of lint in mine. I wonder if you could use that for catfish bait. <laughs> Stop. Tina says later, later is, is better. better. Don't be a weenie. Yeah, don't be a weenie. Not the Patriots laughing. Ola from Ohio. Ola, Ohio. I know how blah but no. Think their tube is lying about your views. Oh, they probably are. Probably. I mean, we are better tonight than we have been on this channel. Actually, we've probably more than doubled. So it is growing, and we are growing. You know, a few people, but uh, 
I think the more we get out and get some more videos going and some catch clean cooks and some camping like she wants to do down there and uh, catch a lot of catfish. Uh, I do got a question for I got some uh, trot line hooks in today. They sent me the wrong size. They sent me four aught hooks. Don't think four aught would be good enough for the trot line, or do you think that's going to be too small? Wow, he got two inches in like eight hours. <laughs> Wish we could just get an inch. Hey, this crazy train is off the rails. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, get kind of crazy. Hey, we got some big eyes. <laughs> Should put your hand on your nose like that. Hallelujah, Romans. Well, guys, I think we just about drove y'all crazy enough for tonight. You drove me crazy tonight. She said that's too small. Yeah, I should probably end it tonight. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought four aught was too small too. Uh, I use a nine aught circle hook whenever I fish. So, uh, I don't know. I, I was hoping the four aughts would work. They they always do that when I order something. I order this from eBay. It's like. Uh -oh. I'm always surprised. Yeah, thank you, Teresa. I always get surprised. Uh, you order four, you might get seven, you might get two. You could get six, nine, ten. I guess you just order it and hope for the best. Yeah, I, I, I run nine. Uh, <laughs> that's her. I don't know what she's doing. I'm a Okay, Leo. Thank you. Yeah, I bought them for her. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You yeah. bought me the smaller one. I thought I bought you those. No. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. I got them for her. No. So, whenever y'all go fishing, what's your favorite drink to take? This will probably light up. Budweiser, Bud Light. I mean, like tea or Gatorade. <laughs> not... <laughs> Whenever I go down there, I like to get lit. <laughs> you like to feel good now yeah. when you go on fishing. The only bite I got was mosquitoes. <laughs> Iced tea and Dr. Pepper. That sounds like mom. Mm -hmm. Williams just like mom. Pond water. I can handle a little bit of that lake water, but too much of it gets dangerous. <laughs> I can tell you all one thing. If you go out with us and you get lake water in your mouth, don't trust a fart. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Remember that TikTok you showed me? That guy's pants filled up. That's what that would be like. <laughs> I like to know it has some shelf life. Water, soda, Gatorade. Yeah, I try to drink a lot of water whenever I go. Water muskins. Uh -uh. What are they? They said water muskins. <laughs> how you say it. I, I drink my tea strong, not watered down, instant junk. Yeah, I like strong tea too. I drink uh, Louisiana's what I like. That one tea that you buy is disgusting. She said you need to sleep you get the giggles. Sorry you couldn't <laughs> help it after last night shorted yeah <laughs> it could happen with that lake water and especially the way it smelt was out there i mean it smelt stagnant <laughs> well, disgusting. like when it goes in your mouth and it like you swallow water it's like it's got a little bit of soupiness to it it's kind of thick I ain't thick the other way but it's thick going in it finds its way out you see things that you ate Why last explaining this it's <laughs> disgusting you see things that you ate last year <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'd run the water moccasins off. I guarantee you. They'd even leave. Last thing I'm going to bring it up, guys. We're going to have to get off here.
We're thinking about doing magnet fishing. Would, would any of y'all like to watch us do some magnet fishing? Is I've that, never seen that one guy do it and he stepped on that thing. Oh, yeah. Mm. Is that something y'all are in or would like to watch us do with some magnet fishing? Emory said good night, beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> good night. God help us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, he's going to text right now. I want to have a percent of the trip for this part. Next time. I would love watching you do magnet fishing. We'll have to do some magnet fishing. we got a lot of bridges around here. They just found a whole trunk load of guns, didn't they? Mm -hmm. That bridge down from us. A whole bunch of guns. Mm -hmm. Yes, they did. All right, guys. We're going to call it a night. We appreciate you all showing up, being on our channel, and uh, sharing us out. We're growing so fast on this channel, too, and we appreciate that. Uh, yes, Boot Tater, I look forward to doing that. I'm going to have to order some of that. But I'm going to get off here, and I am going to argue with YouTube over my abnormal page because I have it screwed up. And hopefully I can get that fixed, and I'll give you all updates on the page. Uh, I appreciate you all being here with us. And, uh, of course, we appreciate it. Mm. Get excited to do it with you all. And uh, every time we do a live, we're excited to do that. So God bless you all. Yeah, God bless you all. Thanks for being here. Uh, be safe if you're out and about. And uh, <laughs> thanks, Emery. And um, we will catch you on the flip side. Mm. <laughs>